some baseball news. Our city's doing bad right now, man. Yeah. You know, I feel like we jinxed it. We talk so highly of the Yankees and Mets at the trade deadline. And then we even flirted the idea like, man, it would be dope if, if we can get a Subway Series for the World Series this year. Well, yeah. it neither team is in the playoffs right now. The Mets are on life support. The Yankees got to get hot this week. Uh, they're a game and a half out of the wild card spot. The division is just about done for them because I think the Yankees only got about 13 games left. They're nine back in the division, so that's a wrap there. But the wild card, they're a game and a half back. They're chasing Boston and Toronto. Uh, Mets, same situation. Wild card is probably out of it for them. They're seven back in the wild card, but they're five and a half back in the division. They do have the last three games of the season against Atlanta, though, so if they can get within range, they may give themselves a shot. But ultimately, I think both our teams let the city down, man. Yeah, I'm... I'm... <sighs> I'm just so disappointed. Um, you know, I was I was looking 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 at the season when we went on that big run, and I was just thinking, man, we could actually be playing Tampa uh, in another week or week and a half to come in and steal a division. Now we got to try to hold on and get a damn wild card spot. Uh, you know, I'm just I, I'm 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 extremely disappointed in in the Yankees. Um, you know, I just I hope they can bounce back. I'm I'm happy Severino's back, but what are we gonna get from Severino? I don't I don't know. Is he gonna be able to stay healthy? I you know I can't call it. it. It's it's so late in the season it won't even matter to be honest. <laughs> like he he ain't gonna come out and be and have outings where he's throwing ninety pitches. You know what I'm saying? Like he he still got to work himself back in shape. It's just unfortunate. Like I said, both these teams had high hopes, and uh, they've fallen well short of those expectations. Um, it, it didn't make it any better that ESPN recently released a four-part documentary on my beloved 86 Mets. Uh, watching that team and then having to see what this team is doing, it was like just rubbing salt in the wound. It was like, man, why, why can't we have that type of energy and spirit and that type of mentality? Those 86 Mets, for those that haven't seen the documentary, uh, they played hard, they party hard, but they, was, they were tough. You know what I'm saying? They, they was willing to throw down with anybody who wanted to get it on. And their mindset was, we're going to come into your town and we're going to kick your ass. Yeah. This this version of the Mets don't have that mindset. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with, with New York. We, man, football, baseball. I mean, only basketball. Basketball is giving us two playoff teams. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's about it. We got basketball. We got, but that's we're not we in got. season right now. So, <laughs> man, that's what we got right now. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. <laughs> Real 